In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can create transparent gradients using Affinity Designer. Now, this is something that tends to be needlessly complicated in other applications. For example, in Adobe Illustrator, in order to achieve this effect, you have to create a rectangle with the black and white gradient and apply it to the object as a layer mask in order to create the transparent gradient. Affinity Designer, on the other hand, has its own dedicated tool called the Transparency Tool, and it's located over here in the left-hand toolbar of your screen. And if you click on that tool, you can simply click on an object to select it, and then click and drag just like that to create a transparent gradient. Now, what I'm gonna do now is move this off of the canvas so that you can see the transparency showing through the dark area like that. And if at any point you wanna go back and edit your transparent gradient, you can just go back to the Transparency Tool, which is the letter Y on the keyboard, and you can just move these nodes around like this to change where the transparency is. So this node right here represents full opacity, and then this node right here represents transparency. So if you want the top to be transparent, you can just put the node towards the top, and then take this node and put it towards the bottom. And if you want it to follow a straight path, just hold the shift key on your keyboard and it'll lock it vertically like that. Or if you wanna go horizontal, it'll lock it horizontally like that. Okay, so looking closely at, um, these nodes here, you'll notice there's this little handle in the center here. This allows you to shift the gradient like that. So you can make the gradient shift towards opacity on this end or towards transparency on this end like that, as you can see there. And up here in the toolbar, we have some options to choose from. The default transparency gradient is linear, but you can create other types of gradients as well. For example, an elliptical gradient allows you to create a gradient based on an elliptical shape, as you can see here. If you come back up here, we have radial. Radial allows you to create a gradient based on a uh, radial or a round circular shape like that. And by the way, if you wanna reverse the, uh, the positions here, all you have to do is come up here to this button where it says reverse gradient and click on that. And just like that, you will have it reversed. And so now that transparency is in the middle. So let me put that back to where it was. If we come over here, we have conical, which also wraps the gradient around a circle, but it takes the points and locates them in the shape of a circle rather than creating a circle itself. Uh, creating a circle itself. So that's how uh, conical works. You can play around with that if you want. And if you want to remove your transparent gradient, all you have to do is come back up here and click on none, and it'll put you right back to where you started, just like that. So let's have a look at some of the other ways in which you can use the transparency tool in Affinity Designer. This is where this tool really starts to shine because it allows you to apply it to virtually any type of object you'd like. So for example here, I have this single object, which is just a heart that has a stroke applied and it also has a drop shadow applied from the quick effects menu. So there's a lot going on with this object. There's a lot of different style attributes here. And despite that, the transparency tool still works great on this object. As you can see there, I'm able to create partial transparency and it's applied to that outline or the stroke as well as the gradient. And once again, I will move this off the screen here so you can see it a little better, just like that. And there you go, that's how that works. This also works with groupings of objects. I have this design right here, which consists of all of these individual parts in the group, as you can see over here in the layers menu. And despite this being a grouped object, you can still use the transparency tool to create transparent gradients, just like that, super easy. And then finally over here, we have a, pi a pixel-based image. This is just a painting. This is not a vector in any way. If I zoom in on this, you could see the individual pixels there. And despite this being a pixel-based image and Affinity Designer being a mostly vector-based design application, you can still create partial transparency on images just like that using the transparency tool. Pretty cool. So I think that should do it for this lesson. That's how you can use Affinity Designer to create transparent gradients. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.